The Barqueta Bridge, or El Puente de la Barqueta, was built in 1992 and is located in Seville, crossing over the Guadalquivir River. The bridge was originally built for the Sevilla Universal Exposition, connecting the mainland to Cartua Island, the location of the expo. During the planning of the expo, Cartua Island was chosen because it is the historic site for the Carthusian Monastery, where Columbus lived while preparing for his voyage to America. Officials held a bridge competition after realizing that several new bridges would need to be constructed in order to connect the mainland to the island. Two of these bridges were the Barquetta Bridge, designed by Juan J. Arenas and Marcos J. Pantaleon, and the Alamillo Bridge, designed by Santiago Calatrava. The Barquetta Bridge is a bowstring arch bridge that has a main span of 168 meters and a deck that is 21.4 meters wide and 2.4 meters thick. The main arch is 108 meters long, and it splits into two inclined struts on either end. Because of the geometry of the bridge, the cables are only located in the main arch, and they go down from the arch to the center of the deck on one plane, to avoid any interference with traffic. The Barquetta Bridge is one of the first bridges in the world to have a split arch, and this feature makes it unique. Symbolically, the split arch acts as a gateway from the city of Seville to La Cartuja Island. The loads are transferred from the deck via the cables to the main arch. Under the loads, the arch is in compression. The flow of forces in the arch is continued on either end by triangular frames. The two struts of each frame are in compression and push outwards at the base of the triangle. Therefore, a horizontal tire is required to resist outward forces. The deck is connected to the base of the frames and acts as a tension tie that resists the horizontal forces from the arch. The entire structure then rests on four concrete piers. The forces in the bridge are thus elegantly resolved using a structurally efficient form. The cross-section for the arch and the struts is very innovative. Normally, hollow steel arches would have simple rectangular cross-sections made up of steel plates. However, these would require either very thick plates or additional stiffening elements. For the Barqueta Bridge, Arenas came up with the idea of adding grooves in the steel plates. I have two effects. Why? One of them from the aesthetic point of view, but the other is trying to avoid the buckling of the plate. So finally, this is the genesis of the, this element, but Barqueta is very uh, transparent and very elegant because steel is with the, with the steel it's possible to do it with the minimum uh, cross sections. The bridge was constructed along the river bank. The deck and the arch were installed in segments supported by scaffolding. Once the segments were welded together, cable hangers were installed and tensioned. The structure was then swung across the river into place. A temporary hinge was created on one end of the bridge as a pivot for rotation. After rotation, the bridge was placed on its concrete piers and secured in its final position. The Barquetta Bridge is significant in that the split arch design of the bridge is one of the first of its kind. Following the conclusion of the Sevilla Universal Exposition in 1992, the positive exposure of the bridge led to more split arch designs being built around Spain and the world. One bridge inspired by the Barquetta Bridge is the Third Millennium Bridge, located in Saragossa, Spain, which was built in 2008 and also designed by Arenas. While outsiders to Seville are more likely to recognize Calatrava's Alamillo Bridge, located about a kilometer upstream, the Barquetta Bridge plays an important role within the city of Seville as it is still in use today. The bridge serves as an important connector between the mainland and Cartua Island and is easily recognized by residents of Seville as one of the bridges crossing the Guadalquivir River. The pureness of the structure expresses a visual flow of forces that is dynamic and powerful. The inclined hangars generate a sense of dynamism and entry for both vehicles and pedestrians using the bridge. Although the geometric shapes are complex, the structure is clean and expresses grandness and elegance.